She's not listening at all, is she? We are aiming to finish, uh, to finalise our designs uh, beginning of December. Do we um, actually have enough money to get the service? <laughs> we need people to stay motivated the whole way through. <laughs> Why are you asking these questions on camera? <laughs> But it's been a lot of the same since Christmas. I mean, just designing, um, analysing and optimising, really. Imminent arrival of parts. So you never really have a break. There's always stuff for FS to do. I think it was the opposite of a break. I think I needed a break to recover from the Christmas break. No rest. <laughs> The new season begins. What is FS? Formula Student uh, is a competition where universities from all across the world are challenged to build their own Formula One style car. Obviously we all want to race, uh, but it's more about the design, the, the principles behind your design, um, and the real world application of what we're trying to be taught and learn in university. There are several different events, static and dynamic, but obviously you can't compete in these events if you don't pass scrutineering. Scrutineering is a series of tests that make sure the car is safe. They have the design report where they go and critique your car. You have to submit the design report ahead of time. Um, and they just basically pick your car apart and ask you for justifications and why you designed things the way you did. The FS competition isn't just one big race though. It is just a test of engineering across the boards. And FS is basically like a platform to showcase not only your skills but showcase sort of your dedication and commitment to engineering as a whole. So you could put a year's worth of work in and one thing fails and that's it. You don't even see the car race. Hundreds of hours of work and never even see the car on the track. It's disencouraging. A lot of commitment. Obviously it's a team sport so you're letting teammates down if you don't pull through for them but obviously then you've got to think about yourself and kind of go right actually I've got to pass my degree still. I wouldn't say stress is the word it's more I just say it's workload I'd say it's stress actually yeah that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the engineering side is looking really really rough we need everybody that's here to pick up the slack which means let's f it about during the day because we, we take the piss I think at the moment. I think yeah at that point it was looking really bleak, so we just needed people to step up and take responsibility because I think people were just trying to pass the buck a little bit too much. We're at the stage where we just need to get on and finalise designs and actually get the car done. If we carry on on this part, we won't make Silverstone, obviously, because we have so much work to do and we're, we're really far behind. Everything became a lot more critical after Christmas. Everyone in the lead up thought like, oh yeah, I mean, whilst we're over Christmas, the chassis will get designed and everything will fall into place. And then the realisation between like management was that we're behind and we're also not working at the rate we should be to get ahead. And some of the team have reacted to that really well and others maybe not so much, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles. We're going to be really lacking on TikToks and everything else because we just have nothing. Why um, is that? Why do we not have anything? No, I think that's, if I'm being honest, poor. So we didn't get content today, I think. And then everyone starts sort of panicking and that's sort of, I think, where tempers start rising a little bit. The belief is that we can do really f***ing well this year. Like, we can do really well. Like, we could genuinely place top 15 as our goal. There's no reason why we can't do that. Can you tell us your name and what you do at SBR? Sure. I'm Sam and I'm a junior engineer. My name is Mohammed Ali. My name is uh, Abdullah Azhar. So I'm a junior engineer and uh, mostly uh, my first semester has just been trying to learn and understand the way that this whole thing works, Formula Student as a whole. I mean, it's our first time having junior engineers, so it's always a bit of a challenge sort of knowing how to navigate that. I think that's been quite a big task is making sure they have things to do and they're actively involved and making sure it's fun. We've got a few strong good engineers come through um, so it will be a test of time though it will kind of at the minute where it has been a bit slower 
it's harder to see who's really pulling weight and who's doing well. But obviously when the pressure starts ramping up, that's where you kind of see the differences between obviously who, who can really crack on and who kind of struggles a little bit. Always like a big target for us this year to train the junior engineers and sort of have that future for the team. Most of the team is third years, so next year they'll be gone, but they're the ones with the key experience. So unless the junior engineers pick it up, there's no team next year. To be honest, finding people is the easy part. It's keeping the people that's really difficult. Because the last thing we want to do is, you know, they join the team and you say, I don't know, design a chassis and and it's going to take 25 hours and you need it done in the next two weeks. Then it's kind of like, why have I joined this? What will be beneficial for the junior engineers the most is going to the competition because at that point that's when you, in my opinion, learn the most. You can never be ready for this kind of thing. You just have to know and just give it a shot. So, since Christmas, uh, there have been some changes within the team. We've lost Mina, uh, which is a shame. And we've lost Cal as well. Um, yeah, he uh, left the team uh, last week. So Mina obviously was the team manager and she was responsible for the steering system. She's had to step away for personal reasons, so we've given her responsibilities on the steering side to Sleeman and Jensen, junior engineers, to sort of take over that design. Uh, yeah, uh, my name is Sleeman and I'm a steering engineer at South Bank Racing. Hi, I'm Jensen and I'm, I'm steering team with Sleeman. Um, experience is something I don't really have that many that much of, which is why I'm with Jensen, who has I think three or four years of experience working in what's that Volvo? Nathan took me outside and he was like, "All right, this is what you're going to be working on. This is what you need to do." He gave me a long list of things I needed to get done. I thought, "Oh, okay, this is what a senior role is. This is what steering is." So it was a bit more than I thought, but nothing more than I think I can handle. Yeah, I'm expecting you to pick up from where Mina left off. Yeah. So expect a lot of work <coughs> in a few few weeks. Yeah, it's just how it is in FS. You know, people leave the team. And they've actually made really good progress on it. So, um, you know, every door that closes opens two new ones in the case of Jensen and Sleeman. And we've estimated with lap time simulations that we will improve about three tenths per lap. So overall it would lower our times from the 25 minutes with the differential to about 24 and a half minutes without driver change. We've been very, very fortunate to be awarded two funds. So we've we got a thousand pounds granted from RS Components. We have a lot of electrical components uh, that we need to buy. Joe's uh, done wonders with the electronics. One of our main priorities this year was making sure electrical is reliable. And now we don't have to go with budget components. It's a big sort of relief of electrical should be sorted. And we also got awarded two and a half thousand pounds from the IMEC-E. Working with what we have is a, quite a small budget compared to other teams and we're trying to use that to push the boundaries as much as we can and create an FS winning car. That's going to be really helpful. We're going to be putting that mainly towards buying a new differential for the car. Uh, last year I think there was five or six sponsors on the on or with the team now it's increased to 15 or 16. If we had to pay full price for everything we needed the car would be well in excess of £40,000, which is just not affordable for a team of our size. So we're in York. We're getting the chassis manufactured. The core team's very like pushed. I was gonna say till the limit then, but <laughs> 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 that'd be cringe. That'd be cringe, really.